Hey guys, it's Chuck from Brady Adventures and I am getting ready right now to install the SLE a battery upgrade tray. It's going to go right here. Uh, I'm a little worried that this 31 group with the extra um, threaded lugs on it, I'm a little worried it's not going to have enough clearance under this hood. I'm getting a little ahead of schedule on this. I was going to you know, take a weekend to do the whole dual battery system at one time, but I'm going to go ahead and knock out this one and make sure that this battery is going to fit. First thing to do is take this Toyota battery out of here. All right, guys, let me show you all the tools I use for this project. Uh, drill, pair of gloves, always wearing that. Definitely need a shop light. Scissors and shears I use just to trim the little battery covers. A pair of pliers just to yank on things a couple times. But mainly what you need is a ratchet or two, some extensions. I use a 10 millimeter nut driver couple allen keys you're definitely going to want an allen key like this for the nuts when they're when you have somebody holding them up top for the battery tray those were a little hard to hold with just a key by itself 12 millimeter open-ended wrench a half inch open-ended wrench got a 10 millimeter socket 14 millimeter socket and a 12 millimeter socket uh, you're going to want a bit like this to drill those holes out to 3 8 inches. I only had to drill out one. Also going to want a jack to drop down your washer reservoir without actually having to take your wheel off. Oh, so out she comes. Okay, now I'm going to get down in here and pull out this battery tray. I used to sit on and see this was just held in place by two little lugs that go down in a couple holes down here. So one of the more, I guess, invasive things that you have to do is these three holes here, here, and here they are where the battery tray is going to mount to and they need to be drilled out to 3 8 inch. One of those pyramid bits to enlarge a hole is, is what we're going to use. Look at that. Somebody dropped a socket in here a long time ago. Hmm. That is not mine, but it is now. Um, washer fluid reservoir is directly under this, so getting it bolted up on here, um, you have to drop that reservoir. So we're going to go from underneath. I'm hoping I can do it um, without actually taking the tire off. You can see this black plastic all right here. This is the bracket for the washer, and over there, um, up against the far side of the fender well, um, that black cover and the washer uh, reservoir is up under there. So I got to take, pop those bolts out. Just jack that up a little bit. Tons of room in there now to get that out. You can easily reach these. All right, so if you come up under here, you can see here's the two that I took out. And then there's one right here. Okay, then there's a couple electrical plugs for the pumps and a couple hoses. I'm gonna I'm gonna get a coat hanger, wire this up over to the A arm up here so I don't have to worry about spilling all this fluid. I took a little coat hanger, wrapped it around up around the upper A arm and just have the hook down here on the and just rest it on the tire. That'll be okay for a few minutes. And now we're going to, you can see those holes up in there. So now we're going to drill those holes out. Here's where the three holes that we're going to drill. Enlarge the three holes under the battery tray to 3 8 inches. This is the bit. Um, I like to put a little tape on there right at the 3 8 So that way I don't actually go too far. That one's already 3 8 of an inch. So we're probably good there. I think this one's already going to be 3 8 of an inch too. Bigger. But this one is not. So this is the only one we need to do. So that's cool. I only had to enlarge one of the three holes. I'm going to clean that up and I'm actually going to put a little primer on there uh, to keep any rust from forming up and around there. Hey Chuck, why don't you mask off the rest of the engine bay? Ah, screw it. And now I'm going to take some of this foam stripping that come with the... Uh, Come with the kit and put two strips right down here. All right, there you go. And the rest of this stuff is going to go on to the battery tie down. A piece here, 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 and then across here. And now we got to put these, these spacers over each hole. 
we're going to put our battery tray in here and hopefully it will fit so it's in there it looks like it fits pretty good so there's three of these bolts that are going to go through each hole on the other side we have these nylock nuts with a lock washer and a regular washer you're going to need a separate uh set of hands up here to hold on to this uh, while you're down below. I'm gonna pick it up and then you just kinda help help me get it over the and line it up. Okay, you see how high those are? Yeah, but those are gonna hit this. That's what I'm worried about. Yeah. Well, I can find out right now. Okay, it's hitting right here. And if I actually push up on that, it's a long way to get to metal. So it's really just this pushing on this soft pad. This guy's been in here a couple weeks now. It's put a little dent in there. It's maybe an eighth of an inch and there's still a lot to give under that before there's metal. I'm just whew, lucky. I'm gonna go ahead and put the battery tie down in here, so good. All right, so. Start by getting this first nut on the J bolt. And you're gonna to wanna to double nut that and over here. Alright. That's that That's not going anywhere. Good deal. Okay, now to get the uh, reservoir put back in and then the battery clamps. Alright. Alright. I gotta and do my little hook here. Pull that guy out. Make sure I line up my tube. Washer bottles back in. All we gotta do is the uh, get these military lugs on. All right, so I have these uh, covers. These do not come with the kit. Slide this back through here. Got these two nuts that I need to put on here. Oh, dang it, I just broke that. Dang it! All right, make note, don't hold on to that while you're twisting this. Son of a gun. Uh, so, we got this off of here. We're done with that guy. Tighten that guy down really good. Okay. Now. All right, fast forward in time because my camera was uh, causing some trouble. So like I was saying, I just went ahead and did the stock battery terminal there because um, you actually gonna have to cut these and recrimp them uh, if you wanna use the uh, military uh, lug that came with the kit. So this kind of locks down on here and I trimmed it just so it would sit. Kind of looks a little bit a little bit wonky, so I don't, I don't know if I'm gonna keep that or what I'm gonna do here. Uh, but anyway, the battery looks good. Tie down looks really nice. It's really, feels really sturdy. I mean, I can't move this at all. I'm pretty, pretty happy with it at this point. Uh, next time, We'll be over there throwing the auxiliary tray in and starting to wire up the whole dual battery system. All right, so I have not actually tried to start the car yet, so let's do that. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel. And always feel free to leave us any comments or questions that you might have.